Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you a supernatural horror film, The Unholy. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. When journalist Jerry is about to leave Banfield, a shiny gem catches his eyes. Jerry goes over to the tree, and digs around the soil to see what is hidden there. Afterward, he finds a doll inside a hollow part of the tree trunk. Jerry takes out the doll, and sees that the doll has a label with a weird date. In the past farmers bury dolls into the field to pray for good luck, but Jerry's doll looks so unique, that even the local farmer has not seen such a design before. It is part of local legend that if someone breaks a talisman, it will unleash evil and mutilations will begin. But Jerry desperately needs a big story to save his backsliding journalist career. Despite the local resident's warning, Jerry smashes the doll, and takes photos of the farmer posing with the doll. As Jerry drives out of town through the deserted woods at night, he sees a ghostly figure of a young woman, who is wearing a white flowing nightgown. Jerry swerves to avoid hitting this mysterious lady, and crashes his car into a tree. Out of concern for the woman, he gets out of the car to check how she is, but the woman quickly vanishes in the dark, so he starts looking for her in the woods. When Jerry finally finds her, she is kneeling down before a tree and murmuring. Jerry steps forward to touch her arm, and the lady collapses. Jerry carries the girl back to the church, and enlists the help of Father Hagen and a physician. Fortunately, the girl regains consciousness after some time. According to physician, the girl is called Alice, an orphan niece of Father Hagen. Jerry wonders why Alice spoke up in the jungle, but she used sign language for communication at the church. Physician answers him that Alice is born deaf and mute, and she has not spoken a word all her life. Jerry tries to prove himself right, but physician shrugs it off. Later, Jerry contacts his chief editor to report his progress, and convinces the editor that he has stumbled into a newsworthy story in Banfield, how a mute girl can now speak. In order to find out more about Alice, Jerry attends the church mass. During the service, Alice suddenly stands up from her seat, and walks out of the worship hall. It is because she has heard someone calling her name, and follows that voice's instruction. When Alice is found again, she stands before that particular tree. The next moment, she stuns Father Hagen and the community by speaking up. Even Alice herself cannot believe that she does utter a word. But she clearly says to everyone she has seen Mary. The church assumes that she refers to Mother Mary, and gives thanks to her for the wonder. Alice then delivers the message of Mary, which is to have everyone come back to the same place tomorrow. Staying true to his reporter mission, Jerry tapes this miraculous moment. Soon after, Father Hagen's house is surrounded by people, who want to witness and even experience the miracle. Jerry follows Alice all the way ever since she steps out of the house, and carefully records everything with his camera. As everyone watches, Alice walks to the tree to receive Mary's words, and then she goes to the boy in wheelchair, and tells him a miracle will happen by the grace of Mary. Amazingly, the paralyzed boy stands up from his chair after hearing the message. Jerry is excited about seeming to witness a miracle. So he takes photos and makes videos of Alice speaking and hearing, with the amazed reactions of Father Hagen and other people in the community. At the same time he is overjoyed that he finally gets hold of a great story, to claw his way back to respectability. The next day Alice's story becomes the headliner, and that brings the Monsignor onto the scene. Monsignor has been tasked by the Vatican City to address the congregation, and preaches about the power of Mother Mary. As Monsignor mentions that the places where miracles used to happen, are now places of worship, Jerry questions if Banfield would be approved as a holy land. Monsignor replies that the Vatican City will investigate the claims of healing, and make its decision. This launches a media furor, and Alice has become the center of discussion and attention overnight. She is a little nervous and stressed, when it comes to handling different journalists' questions. But when Jerry poses a question in regards to Mary's image, Alice gladly elaborates on the beautiful and bright image she has seen. Since Alice is more comfortable with Jerry, Monsignor offers Jerry an exclusive interview with Alice. Meanwhile, Father Hagen happens to discover the broken doll buried around the tree, and picks it up. As he does so, the devil is secretly unleashed, and disappears without Father Hagen's notice. Jerry begins his interview with Alice, but they are interrupted by Father Hagen's visit. Father Hagen dislikes Jerry, and he is worried about his niece, for he knows the devil attacks God's people in all possible ways. More importantly, the believers who were once healed, end up dying or getting more injuries. So Father Hagen suspects the healing's true nature, but he does not expect to have a personal experience of that real soon. On the second day during a mass, Father Hagen suddenly feels breathless and almost suffocates. Alice heals him with the power of Mary, but the devil appears at the back of Alice. 
physician confirms that Father Hagen's lung disease has been cured. So with the recommendation of the Monsignor, Banfield is approved and declared as a holy land. That night, when Father Hagen is smoking in the church, he is led to a hole in the wall. As he looks inside, he finds a book that contains a portrait of the devil. Right after that, the devil reveals herself before Father Hagen. When Jerry arrives at the church, Father Hagen is found hanging dead. In shock, Jerry does not understand why Father Hagen commits suicide. Alice is struck by her uncle's death, but manages to get hold of herself with the encouragement of Mary. Worse still, Jerry who befriends Alice, is soon followed and attacked by the devil. He constantly finds the invisible devil around him, be it in the hallway or somewhere else. His first face-to-face -face encounter with the devil happens, when he is working on the videos of Alice. While Jerry edits a video clip, he finds a deformed figure besides Alice. As he replays that particular portion for inspection, the devil's face suddenly fills the whole screen, sending a shiver down his spine and hormones. Jerry knows he cannot sit still, so he asks physician to bring him to the archives room of the church. While Father Hagen's funeral is going on, the pair arrive at the mysterious and creepy archives room. Over there, Jerry comes across the Latin book, which Father Hagen discovered earlier. Physician interprets that it reveals Mary Elnor, who claimed to have seen Mother Mary, and performed many healing miracles in her name. However, when people found out that Mary Elnor offered herself to be Satan's bride, they persecuted her, and threw her into the water. To punish Mary Elnor, a mask of Mother Mary was nailed to her face, before she was hung on a tree and set on fire. Her soul, however, is trapped in the very doll uncovered and smashed by Jerry. Back then it's shown that when Jerry smashed the toy, he has set the evil spirit free. It is clear that Mary Elnor is the source of Alice's magic power. She is not Virgin Mary, but just an evil spirit, who preys on souls by masquerading as Mother Mary. Tempted by the evil spirit, Alice wishes to hold a service by the tree, and broadcast it to the masses. Gullible Alice knows nothing about Mary Elnor's true nature. Just when the congregation gladly responses to the invitation, something unusual is happening in the archives room. Jerry plucks up his courage to remove one of the white cloth, to see what is hidden beneath it, only to find a statue of Jesus. As soon as Jerry feels relieved, Satan emerges out of nowhere. At once, Jerry and physician flee the room in terror, and Satan finally gives up pursuing them, when they are in bright light. To stop the devil's evil schemes, Jerry reports his encounter to the Monsignor. But Monsignor, having no faith in Jerry's moral standing, does not care about what he says. So the ceremony proceeds according to Alice's request. Disturbed by the strange occurrence, Jerry continues to do more research on the matter. By reading up in the library, he further finds out that before Mary Elnor was arrested, she had delivered a child, and Alice happens to be her descendant. Mary Elnor sold her soul to Satan, in order to gain eternal life and power. Before Jerry probes further, the documents are destroyed, and the virgin statue begins to tear apart. The devil comes out from the broken statue, and charges against Jerry. In a pinch, the priest and underlying of Monsignor, rescues Jerry by performing the exorcism. At first, the devil looks down at the priest, but later the priest manages to drive her away. This incident has led the priest to worry about the ceremony taking place in the evening. To prevent Mary Elnor from brainwashing more people, Jerry hurries to try all kinds of solutions. As advised by the priest, as long as they bless the broken doll, the evil spirit will be sealed again. So they bring the doll over for the priest to do the ritual. Unfortunately, whenever the priest ignites the fire that stands for God, the devil extinguishes it. After a few interruptions, when they wonder what to do, the cross in the church suddenly bursts into flames. In their shock, the burning cross falls on the priest, and burns him to death. Now that the priest who can exorcise demons, has died miserably. Jerry and physician evade the church with a heavy heart, an idea flashes across Jerry's mind, that is to destroy people's faith in the demon, by exposing her deeds. At this time, the Monsignor is officiating the ceremony, in which Alice urges everyone to proclaim their allegiance to Mary. Right before their souls are reaped by the devil, physician interrupts the ceremony, and awakens Alice. And then, Jerry explains the demon's trick to all attendants. When everyone is thrown into turmoil, Mary Elnor instigates Alice to complete the ceremony but Alice comes to her senses, and will not be deceived again. Enraged at Alice's rejection, she sets the woods on fire. As the crowd evacuates, Monsignor sees the devil's horde appearance in the fire. Before Monsignor can do anything, Satan quickly moves close to him and kills him. 
In the chaos, Jerry brings Alice to run away, but they are blocked by the devil. Jerry tries to fight against her to no avail, and he falls down. When the devil is about to slay Jerry with a deadly blow, Alice sacrifices herself to save him. To everyone's confusion, Alice does not die, but the evil spirit starts to vanish due to her own blow job. As such, Mary Elnor leaves without a trace, and peace returns to Banfield. In the end, Jerry and physician visit Alice, who is once again mute and deaf. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Peace out.